Well, hello there, friends, and I've spent a good bit of my day off running some errands, putting away the Halloween decorations, which I am sorry I never showed you. I shall show you next year's, though. Um, and then I decorated for the period of time in between Halloween and Christmas. I suppose you could say autumn, Thanksgiving decorating, but let me show you what I did. Look at this little cutie, this little cookie tester. Yeah, I got her that little, um, what do you call it, bandana from Dollywood. And then I put up this nice little fall garland I had from last year. And right next to my troll is this turkey I made last year. And I totally forgot about it until I opened my autumn decorations box of decorations. How many times will I say decorations? <laughs> but anyways, I took a terracotta pot, a little bit of ribbon, some pom-poms, a pipe cleaner, some googly eyes, and some feathers of multicolors, <laughs> and then a little like orange flower, and then all glued it all together onto this pot here. And then I got this fancy pumpkin I got at Hobby Lobby years ago. This cool little sign. Another little sleepy puppy. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> and then I got these. These guys are new. And then all these little pumpkins and these little gnomes, which I might have shown you these gnomes and this, these little scarecrows in another video, but now you are seeing them if you haven't seen them already. And then this little squirrel with a little sunflower, like umbrella. I got that last year at Hobby Lobby as well. And this craziness right here, I found these, these leaves today at the craft store. And then the gnomes and the pumpkins, all the fun. Look at that craziness. I got these over here by the sink. I've had this since last year and then all these little corn pieces, corn cobs <laughs> and pumpkins. I got this year, oh, and these, these birds I had from last year. I don't know what it is, but it is something about gnomes and these birds that are trending right now. Some more of that fall garland. I got this little thing. I need to find a picture to put in this. But I like this little rolling pin decoration lo looking thing. Going from here to there over the table is this crazy fall garland that I got at the craft store because it was like 66% off. So it was like super cheap and I was like, yes, I know what I'm gonna do with all this garland. So I got like five like strings of them, I guess you could say. I got five, so yeah. And then this little wobble to you gobble thing. I have that. Oh, when did I get this? Oh yeah, I got this when I was shopping for my Halloween stuff. So back in September and then, oh, and I got this new tablecloth that I think looks so nice. And then more pieces of corn pumpkins and I got this little candle holder from my mother-in-law I think it's so nice looking but all this fun stuff <laughs> this garland is just so crazy and then over here I got these little um, scarecrows from the craft store today as well these birds I already had this one here but yeah that is the extent of my crazy Awesome decorating. Oh yeah, and these cute little birds with their various hats and outfits. Always so cute. But yeah, that is it for the autumn decorating. It's a little period of time in between October, I mean Halloween <laughs> and Christmas. I know a lot of people are decorating for Christmas right now, which I'm also looking forward to. But I like decorating for all the little seasons in between. And look at this little puppy. But I may have said this before, but I remember growing up and my mother decorating for all the little seasons. And I remember her putting up these little foam autumn leaves, little maple leaves and stuff that had like glitter on the front, but I think they were made of foam. But she put them all over the walls, like they were going up and down, you little, you know. Kind of like they're floating in the air. But that was great. And that's always going to be a cherished memory of mine.
But if you guys are the same, let me know. I shall be posting some more um, face painting videos. That one that I just posted was a TikTok video. And I never filmed it just for YouTube. Um, and I also ad uploaded it to my Instagram page. Um, my face painting Instagram page. And yeah. So I'm expecting or hoping to do some more face painting videos. Are you leaving me, buddy? But I'm going to do some more face painting videos, some more collage videos, some more vlogs. So let me know what you'd like to see the most of. And I'm just going to keep making all those sort of videos as I have time to make them. Because I am a busy person, it seems. <laughs> She's so cute. But yeah, um, and I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I got back into face painting. I am face painting for the steakhouse I used to work for every Tuesday night for their kids night and it has been great. I also did a trunk or treat at a country club. An old co-worker of mine from the steakhouse works there and she was asking if I could do their trunk or treat and I said of course I could do that for you. So I got to do that and I dressed as Winnie the Pooh which I don't have any photos of. I just I got super busy and didn't think about photos but let me show you something I did make for my my little um, Pooh Bear costume. So I made this little honey pot, which, okay. Timothy and I went out to Goodwill one night and we're like, I need to find myself a costume. Now I was gonna be a pirate because I have that pirate hat that I got during the honeymoon at Magic Kingdom in the Pirates of the Caribbean section. So I was like, I got the hat, I just need an outfit. It was hard to find the outfit. So I went to Goodwill and because I couldn't find the other stuff for the pirate costume, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just be you know, Pooh Bear, because I've seen that before and that's fun. So I found a pair of yellow skinny jeans that ended up fitting me. A long sleeve yellow shirt, because just in case it got cold, I wanted something long sleeve. And then a big t-shirt that was a men's t-shirt that was red. And then I found this, like, um, it's like a, I guess a cooking pot of some sort. But look at this thing, isn't it awesome? And it didn't have, you know, this on it yet, or this. But it was this. And Timothy and I, we saw it, we're like, this is perfect. And so I took some felt, wrote honey on it, and then some yellow felt and did the little honey drip. And I still have a bit of candy in there. So I got a snack on that. But I took that with me to the trunk or treat um, for the country club and the trunk or treat for the steakhouse that I do the kids' nights for. They do, a, they do one every year, so that's always fun. But this year's trunk or treat at that steakhouse was the best, the best one I had ever done. It was so well organized. It was great. So it was a lot of fun. That, that one I did at the country club too, that was great. They had a bunch of different things for the kids. They had a pile of these mini little pumpkins that the kids could decorate. They had s'mores, they had a bounce house, they had food. And then afterward, they were playing Hocus Pocus 2 for all the kids. So I thought that was just so cool. Um, but yeah, it was a great event. It was really great. So that was wonderful. But, um, Oh, and let me show you what else I made for my Pooh Bear costume. I made these little poo ears. <laughs> now the felt that I had is some crafting felt. It's a bunch of sheets. You know how like you can get construction paper with all different colors? Well, I had felt with all different colors. And um, so I was like, oh, I have this yellow. So I cut out these little um, ear shapes, uh, four different ones, stuffed them with a bit of like, um, what is that? Like the stuff you put in pillows, the stuffing. I don't know why I can't think of it right now, but that stuff, put it in the center and then I legit just hot glued. They're not perfect, but they were fun. They got the point across. And then I had this hairband that I wasn't really using. So I just glued it to that and it's great. So uh, I like to reuse Halloween costumes. I don't know if I'm gonna do something different or if I'm gonna do this again, but this was just so great. I might just do this again next year, so. I wanted to share that with you guys as well. But yeah, going out and buying Halloween costumes, that's fun, that's great too. But making them, oh, I feel like it's so much more fun. And it's not as expensive, but it is it is fun. So I'm glad I had some of this stuff already at home. And some of it I just picked up at Goodwill and it wasn't super expensive, so that was great. But um, 
I got to make some fun memories doing all that. So Timothy and I next year can remember that. Remember those moments where we went to Goodwill and found the perfect costume. <laughs> Oh yeah, and Timothy got promoted to assistant meat department manager for a specific grocery store. Guess if you'd like to guess. I'm not going to tell you, but you can guess. Anyways, um, he worked very hard for that. He's been working for this company for about two years, almost three, I think in June, but he's worked so hard. He loves his job, and I think he is very good at what he does. I know people have told me, um, his previous coworkers have told me that he is great at what he does. They definitely miss him, and, um, I just, I think it's great for him. So he's doing great. He's trying, he's working hard. Um, and I just look forward to what the future holds for us. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> but I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I know it was a short one, but I wanted to get something out there for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and I hope you come back for more. Bye.